Hey guys, what's up? I'm dropping another banger today and you guys are gonna watch this. This is for the experts, so if you aren't running really high budget ads, you might wanna skip this video and go to my other simpler videos. But I'm gonna give away a pretty high level expert strategy on this video. So the winner for last week's giveaway for the thousand dollars worth of free consulting calls or courses is here. Check your DMs, check your messages. I have messaged you and get back to me so I'll be able to send you over the details. But if you guys want to qualify for a thousand dollars worth of free consulting calls or courses, drop a comment below and I'll be picking the best one every single day at the beginning of every video. Other than that, let's go straight into the video. So the Facebook shotgun strategy. So this is a strategy I learned from Tim Bird as well as many other top dropshippers. So I got a circle of sort of dropshippers that are doing you know 30K days, 40K days, 100K days, and everyone's just always sharing strategies so I've learned some pretty cool strategies that I'm just gonna give away to you guys for free because I really want to give a lot of value because I want to hit 50,000 subscribers by the end of this year so I'm just gonna post a bunch of hella valuable video so hopefully my channel blows up and yeah I get to hit my end goal of 50,000 subscribers that's on my current 2019 goal list and that's why I'm giving away so much value so subscribe while I'm providing so much value completely for free so Facebook, as we all know, is very, very volatile and it's really, really hard to get consistent results. Some days are bad, some days are really good and people just struggle to get consistent results. The shotgun method is going to be the method that I'm going to show you to counter this volatility issues. But the requirements is you're going to need over 2,500 in daily ad spend in total and you need at least 25 good ad sets and these good ad sets can be interest targeting lookalike audiences in many different countries so you could have like a dog interest for US and dog interest for like Netherlands and they both perform very well they'll be counted as two good ad sets so you need 25 plus and you can use lookalike audiences as well what you want to do is you want to create a winning campaign and this is the campaign that you're going to put all your best ad sets into put all your best 25 so you have a bunch of testing ad sets get the best ad sets from each one best lookalike audience from one to ten percent within us best lookalike audience from one to ten for australia best interest best everything put it all in one big main scaling campaign for your shotgun strategy here's an example let's say your target budget is spending five thousand dollars a day because you want to scale to let's say 25k days and you want to be spending at least five grand to make 25 grand in revenue so you want to basically spend that much money you probably need around 30 good ad sets and what you want to do is you want to set the budget for each ad set following this formula you want your budget times by 1.6 and the reason we times it by 1.6 is if you want to spend five thousand dollars a day by the end of the day you're gonna to have to multiply your budget by 60 percent just because we'll be cutting a lot of unprofitable ad set so that 60 percent is leeway for killing the bad ad sets so five thousand times by 1.6 you initially have a total budget of eight thousand dollars divide that by 30 good ad sets and you'll be spending 266 dollars per ad set so what you do is you start by letting all 30 ad sets run to 8 a.m. and at 8 a.m. you pause all the losing ad sets so by 8 a.m. let's see if you spend 266 divide that by 3 each ad set will probably have spent $90 and you can tell which ones aren't profitable and which ones are kill all the unprofitable ones and you'll be probably left with 20 to 25 ad sets that are profitable and now you would have roughly spent $2,000 now you let those 20 to 25 run till 12 p.m. noon midday and now what you want to do is you want to pause all the losing ad sets so you would have spent roughly around $180 now some of the profitable ad sets might have turned unprofitable and some of the profitable might have turned break even so you want to kill everything that is just non profitable or break even and by then you'll probably be left with 10 to 15 ad sets left that is profitable and remember the ratio is quite high because these ad sets have already been proven during your testing phase and now you would have spent roughly around $3,000. Now you let your remaining 10 to 15 profitable ad sets run to around 4 p.m. And then at 4 p.m. you want to pause all your losses, all your ad sets that aren't profitable. And now you'll probably have 8 to 11 ad sets left running that is profitable. And you will have spent 3,750 in total about now. And then let all of the 8 to 11 profitable ad sets run to 12 a.m. So now you have 8 to 11 profitable ad sets at a high budget of 
per day. So you would have had 266 times 11, you would have $3,000 spent on high ROAS ad sets. And anything else that wasn't high ROAS, you would have already killed before it have spent even 266. So basically you're able to hedge your losses and scale your wins. And by then, you should have spent your targeted goal of 5,000 by 12 a.m. That's why you start with an initial budget of 8,000 because you're gonna be trimming a lot of the fat and you will have spent your targeted goal of 5,000 by the end of the day. And then you wanna go ahead and rinse and repeat the next day. So you wanna turn all the ad sets back on and just repeat the strategy every single day. And this strategy will let you perform in any Facebook conditions. Because what you're doing is you're hedging all the bad ad sets right off the bat. So if it's a bad day and all 30 ad sets flop, then you're gonna kill them all at 8 a.m. And you would have spent your whole daily budget. People usually let their ad sets run till the end of the day. But using this strategy, you're able to kill it straight away at 8 a.m. when it's only spent one third of its budget. So the next day you turn all your ad sets back on, and the ad sets that you constantly have to turn off 8 a.m. over say a period of three, four, five, six days, there's these ad sets that you constantly turn off 8 a.m. every day. You wanna remove it from the rotation and you wanna replace it with better ad sets from your testing campaigns. Remember, this winning campaign is just for scaling. You have a testing campaign on the side that you use to test new ad sets, new variations, etc. And you wanna keep that running so you constantly find winning ad sets that you could put into a winning campaign for the shotgun method. Now this is an expert tip. What you wanna do is you wanna combine the shotgun strategy with the surfing strategy. So the surfing strategy is in my channel so you can watch that video. Um, I highly recommend it. The surfing strategy is also another, another really good strategy that I gave away on my channel. So I definitely recommend you to go ahead and watch that. But the expert tip is to combine these strategies. So all your winning ad sets that are profitable, highly profitable at 8 a.m. you wanna double. And if it's still highly profitable at noon, double again. So you wanna combine both strategies, cut all your losses and scale out your winners. When I mean scale out, scale it even further using the surfing method. So this will allow you to not only hedge your bad ad sets using the shotgun strategy, but it will also allow you to double down on your winning ad sets using the surfing strategy. And the theory behind this is that you're throwing all your best ad sets on the wall. Some will stick, some will not. And these are best ad sets, so majority of them are gonna stick. Pause the ones that don't, let the ones that do run for the full day. And that's sort of the theory behind the strategy. If you throw out 100 videos on YouTube, you will have a higher chance of getting a viral video versus focusing on two that you're gonna throw out. You wanna throw out all your best ad sets right off the bat. I just wanna butt in with one more tip. So what I recommend you guys to do is, instead of having to hawk all your ad sets all day long, since you have them at high budget and you're constantly having to like monitor them at different times and you're unable to just because you're on a holiday, you're traveling, you're sort of enjoying that e-com lifestyle and you really, really want to be hands off on your laptop, what you can do that will save you a lot of time and will automate everything is set up automated rules. All the rules I told you, you could literally set up automated rules that would follow the exact formula that was presented in this video and do it automatically. It will increase budgets on ad sets that are doing well and it will cut ad sets that are doing bad automatically. If you guys want me to walk you through that, watch out for a video. A video is going to come soon where I reveal the whole automated rules I use and I give literally everything away. So watch for that video, but that's an extra expert tip. If you want to automate everything and you want to not ironically get tied down to e-commerce and you actually want to travel and live that e-com lifestyle, set up automated rules. So I hope you guys found value in this video. Remember, this is sort of for the experts. You're gonna be really, really careful when using this strategy. If you don't do it correctly, you're gonna lose a lot of money. But if you do execute it as taught, you're gonna be able to kill it because I've seen people scale to over 30K days using this strategy. So it's a killer of a strategy and I highly recommend you using it. Drop any comments whatsoever below. If you have any questions whatsoever, I'm there to help. I've been answering every single comment. And on top of that, I'll be picking the best comment every single video to go ahead and give a free consulting call to or give them a thousand dollar worth of courses completely for free. So drop a comment below and I'll be choosing the winner on the next video. Now, if you wanna work with me one-on-one -on -one personally, sign up for the mentorship application linked in the description below where I'll personally help you scale your business. Other than that, 
hope you guys have been appreciating these videos. I've just been dropping so many strategies completely for free. I've been really, really trying to grow my channel. So please share my channel because I want to hit 50,000 subscribers by the end of 2019. Be sure to subscribe below, click the notification bell, watch all my videos because I'm dropping nothing but value until 2019 ends, until I hit 50,000 subs, I'm gonna be just over producing in value. So I hope you guys have been enjoying this video because I've been having a blast just giving everything away. It's the best feeling ever. So I'll be seeing you guys tomorrow with another value video. Peace. Yeah, yeah.